had three trades in my morning session today. I had two losers and a winner. We're going to go ahead and recap those trades right now. If you have not, make sure you come hang out in the live stream. It happens on this channel every morning at Market Open. So come hang out and watch the trades live. Let's get into the recap. All righty. So markets just opened up. This is where we're at on the daily chart. Yesterday was obviously a very nice flush. I uh, wish I would have just grabbed short and held short all day, huh? Probably like all of you wish as well. We'll see if we get the continuation or not. Um, 12,200-ish looks fairly interesting. Um, let's quickly take a peek at the uh, news dropping today. It's FOMC at one o'clock. It's already that time again. It's crazy. I'm taking a short here. Uh, we're starting to see Delta kind of pulling back. We've got a lot of volume here as well. Looking for like a value area low rotation, basically. Um, we'll see if I get that or not. I'll kill it if I need to. But doesn't look super, super strong yet. If we get some random random strength out of here, then play it accordingly. But that was a quick sweep. Trying to crack the prior high. We'll see. Failing to do so by a couple ticks. Still running. We got buyers coming through as well. Down 15 points. Giving it just a second because we did just run through that stuff that I was talking about. Don't have a ton of strength here on this push. Trying to be a little patient. Um, obviously, I want to be cognizant of like 75s, 80s. It doesn't feel like we fully, fully have it going yet. But everything is getting bit up currently. I'm out. I don't like it. Uh, we're starting to get that uptick again. I think we probably rotate in the 80s. I took a 20 plus point loss there. 22 points. That's going to bring me back down a lot um, on the balance, obviously. Yeah, we're basically break even right now on the account. It's a nice push. Pretty early in the day still. Uh, but yeah, nice push too early again matt i know that's what i'm saying <laughs> i agree this looks kind of good for longs not gonna lie i'm giving it a shot we saw the delta that's like a pretty perfect delta divergence gotta get through this volume like mid 50s lying in the sand right now swept the lows by a point or so nice push got a quick crack 55 it's been the hard hard part to crack so far Delta's still looking pretty good. Here comes 58, trying. Sometimes I take off my exits like that whenever I just need to like see the market clearly. I find exits on it. Uh, we got pointing control now here also. Sometimes having exits on a chart will like actually bias you out. We'll just see if they're consolidating for the next push to the downside. That's my biggest concern right now with everything looking the way it is. Because it definitely doesn't look bad right now. This price action doesn't look bad. But my biggest concern is they're just building volume for another leg. I went ahead and just put in a break even stop. I'm too much up on this trade to watch it go all the way back down on me. Just moving my stop up a little bit. Looking at the prior swing here. Swing low at 90, front running that a little bit if I can. That's it for me. I'm out. Oh, now I'm out. <laughs> Gotta get used to my hockeys. All right. <clears throat> I'm at the magical 80s. I'm out at the magical 80s. Um, and now we're up 155 bucks on the day. So that trade, just being patient, made up for the stupid trade at the beginning of the day of being not patient. Um, happy with that one. That was 30 points on the NAS. All right, nice push. We're at the top of the range at the magical 80s. Delta looking not fantastic by any means. Taking a short here. Missed that by like a tick or two. Uh, we got a block at 66, which also looks interesting. Yeah, kind of a shame that I missed that exit, just barely. Buyers are still trying to be relevant. Nothing crazy yet. 91, should get swept. There it is. We got view up at 105. There's view up. All right, clean crush through VWAP, I'm out. Uh, no clean crush through VWAP, I'm in. <laughs> Pretty that simple. Uh, we do have buyers still trying to step up. Down 25 points right now, ish, 26. Like closing this in a hammer, I'll be, I'll probably want to like hold on to the trade longer. I doubt we do that on the five minute. 
it's good to see how the Naz responds to those blocks because I don't really watch the Dom on the Naz that much as we all know really just kind of opening it up with Sierra because I hate the way it looks on trade of and I don't do it on Quan Tower either so it's good to see how it responds to those levels I mean it definitely looks like it's just trying to roll but Delta looked a little strong for a half second we're testing the top of that one minute range right now if we look at it right here right all those bobs so we are in the magical 80s definitely need to take that into account candles closing and opening right now so kind of expecting a little pop potentially um looks like it's still wanting more let's look at the 22 range again delta still heavy again blue line now goes strong <laughs> very strong always all right we got a minute left on this candle on the five minute candle you can see we're kind of like slowing down here on the one minute chart as well. I'm out. I'm just, it's break even on the day. I don't like that type of push. Taking my 150 loss there. Um, so 450 lot, 455 first trade loser, $600 second trade loser. Oh wait, 455 first trade loser, $600 second trade winner, $150 third trade loser. Taking my break even like i said was kind of expecting to never fully get in the money here it's still possible but I, this type of push freaks me out when we have a lot to the top side 